Hey guys, what's up? SmileLK125 here from youtube.com slash SmileLK125 and twitter.com slash creatorkid95. I know a lot of people have been making video reviews and uh, showing off this cool Cydia app, but um, I decided to jump on that train and get a video out. Um, I would have gotten one out when it actually came out, but I just didn't have time with uh, homework and essays and stuff. And now I have finally time, I have time to sit down and make a video, so here I go. Um, first let me show you what it is so that you can see if you actually want to get this. It is called iClassic and basically what it is is an iPod Classic emulator for your iPod Touch or iPhone. I wouldn't really call it an emulator considering you can't really emulate a piece of hardware but basically it just puts an iPod Classic right on your iPod Touch or iPhone and you can then use it to um, browse your music library and um, as you would on a regular iPod Classic uh, or video if you'd like to call it that. But as you can see right here, this is the screen and I have artists. It takes a little bit of time to, uh, to, oops, to load the artists the first time, but after the first time it does go quicker. Um, I have the menu here, as you can see, you scroll it, it really works. It really pulls up all your icons, I mean all your uh, music, my bad. Um, as you can see, actually, when you tap in here, it really makes it look like the um, the button's actually being tapped in. I don't know if you can tell by the camera, but it actually does do that. And um, settings, you can change a few things. Settings actually takes you to a normal settings kind of thing in an iPod Touch way. But um, you can go black or silver, just like you can actually buy the devices. And uh, so that's pretty cool. So let me show you how to get that quickly here. You go into Cydia. And sorry about that cut, guys, but I forgot to background Cydia before I started this video. Um, but basically what you want to do is go into Manage, Tap Sources. And you want to edit, uh, or add rather, this source right here, the repo.beeriphone.com source. Link is obviously in the description. You wouldn't want to clink it, clink. You wouldn't want to click it, though. You want to go up to Edit and then Add and add the repo.be your iPhone source, which is located in the description. And once you do that, you just wanna go up to your search and search iClassic. And Cydia is being slow like usual. There'll be one in blue and one in black. You wanna get the one from beeriphone.com. Not only is this one free, but it also includes the theme to the original iPod Classic. Basically what the people that made it had to do was make it look like this because of copyright issues, but this one includes a themed version of it and it'll make it look a lot nicer. So what we want to do is just go ahead and install that and once that's all installed there's actually one more step. You'd think it's a, just an app by itself but you actually need to launch up Winterboard. And once you're in Winterboard you want to uh, just that will have iPod Classic theme unchecked. You want to just check it and exit back out, and now it's going to respring. And you would think this is that this actually changes your iPod app, meaning that it just themes your iPod app. But it really it's a whole different app by itself. Why they chose to uh, make it compatible with Wonderboard, I have no idea. But as you can see, I can go into iClassic, which I might as well just show you. It's in my apps category. And I'll show you what the icon looks like too. Um, there's the iClassic icon. Looks very nice. It's just a whoops picture. And I can go into that or just choose to go into my regular iPod and uh, browse music touchscreen way. So no loss, all gain. I really hope you check out this app. Thanks for watching. And for exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash 95 Link is in the description. And subscribe for more tech tutorials. I make a ton of iPod tutorials. Coming soon to have a monitor review, which I uh, hopefully will be receiving this week. I'm pretty excited for that. So thank you for watching.